have a slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this, I'll show up I don't ever slow up, no I don't take shit, I got no love for the fakeness CBS The Bold and Beautiful Spoilers revealed that Sheila died after all the crimes she committed, but it seems that B&B viewers didn't believe that Sheila was really dead. A cruel person, like her, would not have committed suicide so easily, giving up her life. In drama, it's not surprising that a dead person can return to the screen, so there's a reason why she doesn't trust it too much. Temporarily before the news that Sheila was dead, Steffi and Finn thought they were safe. Of course, Finn would be deeply saddened by Sheila's death, after all, being his biological mother, he can't be happy. He just wants his mother to be punished by the law. People are slowly forgetting about Sheila and trying to live a peaceful life. But if Sheila is not dead, this will be a great opportunity when no one's on guard. She will easily carry out her evil plan successfully. And this will put Steffi and Lee in great danger. And perhaps the possibility of Sheila coming back is extremely high at this point. Is Sheila really dead? Is Sheila capable of returning? When will they have a peaceful life? What will happen? Meanwhile, Lee has soon run out of feelings for Jack is in the process of preparing for a divorce. Ever since she found out that Jack cheated on her, Lee was shocked and couldn't forgive it. Even though she really loves Finn for taking care of him for so long, she still can't stop her anger at Jack for doing something like this. If Jack had admitted that first thing that Lee hates the most is that her relatives lie to her, but that's not why she hates Finn. Finn is completely innocent and has no reason to blame him. Lee is a very strong and determined woman, and no one can shake her when she's made a decision. So, divorce Jack is something that will not change no matter how much Jack begs. Jack loved Lee very much at first and he was afraid of losing her so he hid it. Who would have thought that everything would have been discovered and his fear would also come true? Recently because of Sheila's story, Lee and Jack have not been able to officially divorce. Jack thought this would be a chance to hold her. But, when Lee was done with everything, she remained firm with her choice. Lee wants the procedure as quick as possible so that there are no regrets. Will Lee and Jack officially divorce after all? Besides, Quinn succeeded in robbing Carter before he married Paris. Eric had given Quinn one last chance to choose between this marriage or going to Carter. Quinn was hesitant at first, but when she saw Carter getting married, she confirmed that the person in her heart will always be him, and she doesn't want to lose him again. Carter also broke off the engagement when Quinn returned to find her, but it's that that brings great pain to Paris. In the, in the end, she was just a replacement, and when they found each other, she was the one left behind. So Paris went abroad with her sister to forget the pain. Quinn and Carter are also very passionate at the moment, and perhaps they will soon prepare to get married. When Paris returned home, she accidentally met the two of them, which made her extremely awkward, and Paris also caught them kissing. When she gradually forgot, it reminded her and hurt her even more. Paris was about to run away, so she couldn't see this heartbreaking scene when Quinn saw it. The two of them were also embarrassed to see Paris, because they were the ones to blame her for hurting her like that anyways. Quinn and Carter always wanted to apologize to Paris, and didn't know how to open their mouth and ease her pain, because they were afraid that it would only make her suffer more. So when the three of them met face to face, they could only look at each other awkwardly and leave. Perhaps after this accidental meeting, many thoughts will appear in their heads. How will things turn out?